What about you folks? It's Lee here. Um, I'm back today to do the tutorials with, um, with you today for the book binding. I've been promising these tutorials for months now. I originally did do them and they were in a four part series and I didn't do any talking. It was just all captions and the video and I added music to it but because I had uploaded four videos with music on it YouTube told me off and basically said that um, it was a copyright infringement and that I was no longer in good standing with them and they cut my videos down from pretty much limitless down to 10 minute videos so I had to delete those videos so I'm in good standing again sorry there's a bit of a shadow here I've got a new daylight lamp and so hopefully it doesn't cast too many shadows but anyway I've been promising this tutorial for ages so I'm going to redo it now and uh, show you how I make my books now there's a few different techniques I use whenever I'm making books but I'm going to show you the most basic tutorial on how you can make them it's very simple very straightforward you don't need fancy things um, to buy in or anything you know it's it's pretty much what you've got in your home there, um, I'll explain. I'll explain the different threads and things that I use, but you can pretty much use a uh, darning thread that you've got at home. But um, anyway, we'll get started, and uh, I'll show you how to make your very own book. Back in a second. Okay, first of all, I want to discuss a few, um, a few of the basics that we've got in book making. Now, this is a book I've made. I'm in the middle of doing for a friend. Um, whenever you, whenever you um, see a book now, whenever you look at the spine. You will see that um, it's all divided into separately bu separately um, bound bundles in your book. Now these are called signatures. So this is the first thing that you have to do whenever you're making a book. You have to divide your pages into signatures. You couldn't just take your paper, fold it up and put it into your book. Because if you did that, see how the pages, some are out further than the other. So these pages are further back in the book and these are sitting out more. So you couldn't make a signature like that because you, or you couldn't make a book like that because it just wouldn't look right. It wouldn't sit right. It'd be very difficult to sew and put into um, your binding. It would fall apart very easily. So what you have to do is you have to divide your pages into signatures. So I'm going to do that with you now. Now normally if I'm doing a book this size, so this is A4 paper which is I think in the American measurements is 8.5 by 11, pretty much roughly the same. Um, whenever I'm doing a book this size, so this is um, half the page which is an A5 here in the UK and Ireland. Um, so it'll be an A5, just a wee bit bigger than an A5 book because obviously the cover is going to be a bit bigger. I only do signatures of five pages so that means you're going to have ten pages in a signature so obviously if I take five pages here and fold it over that's going to be ten pages in the book so that's what we'll be doing here dividing it into signatures so I'll go ahead and do that now. Now I find um, a bone folder very handy because that, you need, you need um, your fold in the page to be very very crisp so I've got my five pages if you don't have a bone folder, it's not a big deal. Um, you can use a ruler, you know, or the side of your scissors. That's perfectly fine. So I just crease it over. Fold all the five pages. Just fold the five pages together. You don't have to do it one at a time. So that's your five pages and it's perfect. Take another five. So for this book, I think I'm going to have maybe eight signatures in the actual book. So that'll be 80 pages in the book. And that'll be 40 sheets of A4 paper that you'll need. So just keep folding them over. Make sure you line them up perfectly. Use your bone folder. So I'll carry on doing the um, the signatures here and once I have them all done I'll come back and show you what the next step is. See you in a second. Okie okay, doke folks, right we're back. Um, we've got all our signatures folded 
and just put them together here and make sure that it you know it's nice nice and straight um obviously you know it's it's going to be a handmade book it's not going to be perfect like um you know just straight off the uh, conveyor belt in a factory so it will look handmade it's not going to look absolutely perfect pristine but it's going to be as good as you can get it you know and handmade books i think are absolutely beautiful i love spending the time making a book for someone and i think books tend to be treasured a lot by people particularly if it's a journal i have loads of journals from i was 12 years of age so um i really do treasure books and journals so anyway we've got all our signatures together we've got eight signatures there of five pages each which actually makes 10 pages in the book so as i said that's 40 sheets of a4 paper eight and a half by 11 and that um, makes 80 pages in your book now this this is just ordinary cheap copier paper i think it's 80 um, gsm so I mean it's it's not super expensive this is just for a journal if you're going to be making an art journal I would suggest you used something like watercolor paper which is obviously thicker you can get that in different GSMs or you can also use canvas paper um, it's it's widely available now or you can actually get canvas on a roll and then just cut it to the size that you want so that's you know that's for an art journal if you're going to be using a lot of paint and wet materials on the pages this is purely just for a notebook or a journal that you're going to write on or doodle in or whatever anyway we've got our signatures done and what I like to do is put them together and then just run my bone folder up the front of it turn it round and do it down the back now what we need to do is put holes in the signature for the sewing. Um, now this is quite a small notebook. You can put holes the whole way up the side if you want to be really particular about the spine. But to be honest, I find with a book this size you actually can get away with four holes down the signatures. Um, it's a small enough book so it doesn't need, you know, a hole, a sewing hole in every centimetre of the page. I've made these books with um, four sew holes and they work perfectly fine so there's no problem there. So what I've done is I have done a template for all the different size of books that I make. This one here is the A5 four hole no notebook um, template. It's I've just written here that it's a small book, five pages to a signature and eight signatures so I know that um, this template suits this amount of pages just keeps me right because you know I, I do make quite a few books in different sizes so it's handy to have um, it written on the side so I know how many pages that the book can take um, so for this one I just measured I sort of to be honest I eyeballed it um, but if you're wanting exact measurements let me see I put take my signature put the page in the middle and let me see I'll get a wee ruler here just for those who want exact measurements um, I did the first hole about six centimeters down the page and six centimeters up the page and then between that it would have been about a three centimeter just over three centimeter gap for each hole so six centimeters in do a hole then measure up three centimeters do a hole three centimeters do a hole three centimeters do a hole and that should leave you the six centimeters here um, but I mean look I haven't I haven't got it perfect here this is bigger than this hole here the distance between this hole and the distance between this hole is a little bit larger as well so it's not an exact science can you see it there the holes in the page yeah, so six centimetres up this way, six centimetres up this way. So what's that? That's just over two inches, I suppose, in old money. Um, but I don't have it exactly, but it's it's near enough. I mean, you're not even going to see it once it's done. As long as the stitching is pretty strong in the binding, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's going to see it. So what I do is I take an old piece of foam. Now, this piece of foam is disgusting. I glue on it. I punch holes in it. It is my little foam mate. That I use all the time so please excuse its disgusting appearance it really is appalling I mean look I've, I've even stamped on it there's flowers on it why I did that I have no idea but anyway I take each signature then and I lay it on my foam I take this tool here um, it was a set that I got 
set of awls that I got um, on eBay and you get six different sizes so this is the largest size that I'm using here just set those to the side here and move this into the middle right so I'll put my signatures down make sure the pages are all together perfectly take your template line it up and because it's um, A5 as well it'll fit perfectly in so I just line the bottom corner with my signature and then punch your holes. Now that should line it up exactly with the spine because you have put your template right in to the centre of your page or your signature, sorry. So we're just going to punch the holes now. You probably could take a couple of signatures at a time and do it but to be honest you want to make sure that you get the holes in the crease of the signature so I suggest doing one at a time and whenever you fold your signature back up again you've got the holes down the spine of your signature as you can see there so just set that aside and take your next signature make sure your pages are together put your template in, line it up in the crease Line it up at the bottom there. Now there is another way of doing this for bigger books that I would do. I actually, um, maybe I shouldn't confuse you, but I, I take a saw, a hacksaw to the paper. But that is for a more advanced tutorial, I think, for this now. Because this is a small book, we can get away with just punching the holes down the spine. Fold that up. And there's another one. Open that up. Make sure your pages are together. Put this in the crease. Now if you're not sure that you've got the crease right, all you have to do is close your signature and push your paper in with your hand. Or your template, sorry. Your sew and hold template. So just open that up. Make sure it's lined up properly at the bottom. And poke the holes in. another signature done so I'll just carry on doing these and I'll probably fast forward it on the video. Okay, that's all your signatures done. You can see down the side of the spine of the pages, all the holes that run down there. So the next step that we are going to do is we're going to sew our pages together. And um, then we'll just be putting the book together after that. So I'll come back in a wee second and I'll show you what we need to be doing with the uh, how to sew the pages. Back in a second. <laughs> 